All right. So this problem asks us to calculate the limiting area between the curves e to the negative at and e to the negative bt between t equals 0 and t equals u as u approaches infinity. We're going to assume that a and b are positive distinct real numbers. I've drawn the graph here with e to the negative at on top, e to the negative bt on bottom. So we're looking for this area from t equals 0 as u approaches infinity. In order to do this, we need to set up our limit. The limit of our integral from 0 to u. We're going to start with the absolute value of e to the negative at minus negative bt. And so we're using at the beginning here this absolute value because we don't know if a is greater than b or b is greater than a. But we're going to assume, given the graph I drew, let's assume that b is greater than a. So assuming this, we're going to evaluate our integral. So plugging in our u, so we're going to plug in our limits here, which are u and zero, and we're going to find So we plugged in our u and our 0, and we know that this is going to simplify e to the negative a times 0 is just going to be e to the 0, which is going to be 1. So 1, 1, which is then going to simplify to So now the last step is we have to evaluate our limit as u approaches infinity. Our two terms on the right here don't have a u, so they're going to remain as is. And our first two terms have a negative exponent, so we can think of that as being in the denominator of the fraction. And so as u goes to infinity, that would be the same as 1 over infinity, which will go to 0. That will just exponentially increase in the denominator. So that goes to 0. This goes to 0. So we're left with 1 over a minus 1 over b. Now it's important to note that this is our answer, but that was for the case, that was for the case where b is greater than a. Now, we can do the case where a is greater than b, but we're going to wind up with this just reversed, the negative of it. So what we can do as a way to simplify both cases is we can, for both cases, we can just add absolute value 
since the other case would have just given us the negative. So to summarize for both cases, we can just write it with an absolute value sign to take the magnitude of the area that we're looking for.